everybody, I'm Elise Explosion. Welcome to This Is Halloween. This is my uh, challenge tag for the holiday season. Well, my holiday season. Uh, and what I basically wanted to showcase for you today are my oversized Monster High dolls. Uh, there are a few that I have that I did not bring with me because I've previously done videos on them. Uh, I have the Perry and Pearl Serpentine Styling Head, and that was... Uh, one of the first uh, Halloween videos I ever did on my channel for Spooptober. Uh, and I also have Teresa Thornwillow, who was a bit oversized. I didn't want to bring them because I've already shown them off. Everybody here I have not shown off on camera yet. So what I'd like to start with are the... Oh gosh, I don't even know what size these are. I think these are 18 inches? Yeah, these are 18 inch. So these are as tall as an American Girl doll. Um, I do not have any of the freakishly tall ghouls, uh, but I do have Gulliope Jellington. Gulliope is actually part of the Freak Du Chic line, which I am kicking myself that I did not get more of because that line is stunning and they are so hard to find right now. I forgot about it entirely until you just said it. There's, like, there's, there was a circus line and I forgot about it. They're so pretty. Goliope is the daughter of the blob, uh, which is why she is oversized and her, her skirt is actually supposed to mimic a circus tent. Uh, her, her little headpiece here is an organ and I love her little shoes. Uh, they've actually gotten a bit scuzzy over the years uh but they are little carousel horses but they're skeleton horses um so she was the first one i thought of this next one is not monster high but because it's so closely related i'm going to show her off anyway this is the 18 inch maddie hatter from ever after high and she was from Oh, was it the Way to Wonderland line? It might be the Way to Wonderland line. I'll look it up and I'll pop it in. Uh, I like her a lot. Maddie is one of my favorite Ever After High characters, if not my favorite Ever After High character. So I absolutely was stoked to bring her home. The, the clothing quality on these is not as nice as those on the 11, 12 inch dolls, uh, but they're still really, really nice. Their hair is rooted. The, the hair, this very, very hard vinyl. Uh, so rerooting these would be a challenge and a chore. Uh, but I just, I really, really love her. She's, I actually, I did wash her hair out, which is why she looks a little scuzzy. Uh, she just got, not glue headed, but I had her out on display for a really long time with no, with, with little care taken to her hair. So I'm trying to, uh, to style her up and fix her up a little bit better. But that's Maddie for you. Then I have three from the, oh God, the Voltageous Freaky Friend line. Now these were, I believe these were exclusive to Walmart and there are four from the one set and I have two of them. And then there is a third more definitive doll. The, fir the third doll that I'm talking about, and I'll start with her, there is actually a best freaky friend of Skeleta Calaveras. And she is one of my favorite dolls in general in Monster High. And I picked her up secondhand. I got her on eBay uh, not too long ago. But I just, I've always loved Skeleta. I think that she is uh, one of the, the loveliest dolls that they did. There is so much care put into her design. Uh, she was actually designed by a Mexican woman. So it makes sense that she is a very sensitive cultural representation of something that is so dear. Um, the cool thing about the Beast Freaky Friends are that their eyes rotate and you can kind of see it. Similar to a Blythe. Yeah, simil similar to a Blythe. No pull chain, there's just a little tab in the back that it rotates them through. Uh, Skeleta is actually fairly accurate to her uh, 12 inch counterpart. I don't have her easily accessible, but I'll pop her in. And I just, I really like Skeleta. She's great. The other two are the definitive Beast Freaky Friends. And as I mentioned, there are four in that line. There are two that I do not have. I do not have the pink one. And I do not have, I guess she's called the purple one. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. The colors are a little strange, but I do have, uh, the first one I picked up was this blue one here. And unfortunately she is a bit of an amputee. She does not have a right hand. But that's okay. Um, she's still beautiful and I love her. Uh, she's mostly complete otherwise in this particular 
uh, style. This the the dolls themselves came with a lot of accessories and pieces to to zhuzh up the dolls. Uh, I mostly wanted them with shoes and with the leg bracers because those seem to be the parts that go missing first. Um, I can as with all dolls, the shoes go missing first. Yeah, uh, but she's she's very sweet. She has she has a striking resemblance to Jane Boolittle. Uh, but in my opinion is distinct enough. Also, we can't really see it, but these eyes glow in the dark. Um, I like her dress. It's, it's very much my style with the, uh, the black and white stripes and the neons and the black. It's, it's very much, very much me. Uh, but my favorite of these two, she is, I think, blue, uh, but green is my favorite. And green right here. Uh, I think she is absolutely breathtaking. We have, we basically got her eyes kind of stuck in this position. She does have pupils, but I think she looks a lot cooler with the pupil-less look. Um, she does have both hands. Um, and there's like a slight pattern on her dress. It's, it's like a skulls and hearts. Uh, she gives me vague Lorna McNessie vibes, but not, again, distinct enough to be very, very different. Uh, she has both of her bracers and her shoes as well. The The accessories are not as detailed on the Beast Freaky Friends, and it's very obvious that these are meant to be, like, directly for little kids to play with. But I just, I really like them. I'm quite partial to them, and I, you know, if I, if I encounter the other two someday for a reasonable enough price, cool. If not, also cool. But they're smaller than a my size Barbie, but they're more akin to that. Yeah, they're, they're more along the lines of like the My Size Barbies, so. But friends, I think that is going to be it for this video. Do you have any other oversized Monster High dolls that you would like to talk about? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you all. Everybody check out the hashtag, this is Dolloween. Um, if anybody else decides to join in, I'd love to see your dolls. Leave those links in the comments because I, I just want to see them. I want to share them. I want to, you know, spread, spread the goodness. So everybody, thank you so much for watching. If you like these videos, I have a whole bunch more and I will link some at the end of this one. Everybody take care, be well, and I will see you in the next video. Later.